Because the one thing is in talking with a lot of retailers, especially direct market retailers, what a lot of them is, is that the advice has been it's going to be substitution. It's like they, they'll tell you straight up, and I don't think any of them would think, I'm, think that um, they'd be discouraging in saying this, is that, you know, most of the, they mostly stock Marvel in D.C., and unless your book is just that good, I'm not giving up that Marvel in D.C. money. Mm -hmm. So you have to have something that is going to make um, either their read, their customers substitute, or that they hear about it from their customers enough they say, hey, you know what, put that on my pull list or whatever. And there's ways to get, like, you know, there's there's so many ways to get, you know, to sort of buy that respect from mm -hmm. them. You know, it's just, you, you could do something as simple as, like, coming to approaching mates such as James, yeah. at First Day Comics, right. overall for High Park. Mm -hmm. You could approach him <laughs> and just say, like, Hey man, I'm coming out with this book. I've got like the first three issues done. I want to do like somewhat of a release party. You think we can host that here? Yeah, Put in exactly. like posters in the window, big poster, you know, hand out Ooh. flyers to customers, you know, and then we have this major event for the like, you know, like, yeah, depending on the reception, it's like, okay, we just did that, you know, and then maybe you'd be cool to about to, hey, you can get all the profits. Yeah, anything sold goes to you. It's like if it go, does well, then it's like, hey man, you want to start carrying the book in the store? Absolutely. Yeah, carry the book in the store. It's, it works. People like it. So it's just, I think a lot of times people get stuck at just like, oh, they don't carry the book in the store. So well, what exactly. have you done to get them to want to carry the book? Come on, Benny man. The kid is a L7 weenie.